This is a real simple version of hot corn, cold corn, and this is meant for the beginning banjo player. If you've been playing for a while, it's probably going to be too easy of a version for you. It's based on the thumb in and out roll, which um, the strings that we're going to be using are 3, 2, 5, 1, and you're going to be doing thumb, index, thumb, middle. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to start off three times using that roll. So you're going to be playing three, two, and then at this point you're going to need to fret the fourth string at the second fret and then play that string opening. And there's a little bit of a rest between when you do that. So from the beginning, one, two, three, four. And then you're going to go to the D7 chord. So you're going to put your first finger on the second string, first fret, middle finger on the third string, second fret. And you're going to do that same roll again, three, two, five, one. And this time when you go to the fourth string, you want to go to the fourth fret. I'm using my ring finger. And then open. So we've got... back to G. This time we're going to do a slide on that first note. So when you play three, two, five, one, when you hit the three, you're going to be sliding from the second to the third fret. Make sure you don't release the pressure here on your left hand or you won't hear a good slide. And then two of the same roll open. Fourth string, second fret, open. And then one more time, the D7. Fourth string, fourth fret, open. And then the part that's yes, sir, your hand is already in a good position for this. Once you fret here, use your middle finger, third string. You're playing the third fret. Hold it before you slide and you're going to the fourth fret and then you're going to do a G lick here. Um, the G lick, it's really important that you use the correct right hand fingering on this. It's going to start with your thumb and you're playing thumb, middle, thumb. So that's three, one, five. And then you're going to hit the third string with your index finger and do a slide from the second to the third fret. Play the first string open with your middle finger. So from the beginning I've got. And then go ahead and let this finger go from that slide. Third string open. Fourth string second. And make sure that's your index finger there by the way. Um, on your right hand. Go to the fourth string second fret. That's going to be your thumb. First string open. Middle finger and then the thumb on three. So that lick again. And I'm going to show you real close. Um, right hand again. If I put the song together, and the best way to kick this off, if you're going to be starting it, is to start it on the fourth string and do a walk up so that everybody can hear when to start playing with you. So add this to the beginning of the song. It's all on the fourth string. Open, second fret, fourth fret, and then play the song. So we've got one, two, three, four, one.
an example of what you can do for some simple backup along with that song. All I'm doing is I'm playing my thumb on the third string, and then I'm doing a pinch on the first and second strings with my index and middle finger. And this song just has two chords in it. It's G and D7. So with those two chords, you can play through the entire song with a group of people.